we have a great viewpoint up behind me. Um, but we couldn't find any buffalo. So either they're grazing somewhere else, or we've been misled, but I'd like to believe they're grazing somewhere else. Graze! Now, one of the things that kind of neat about this place is we are just south of Oregon, Illinois. Oregon is, Oregon is two hours straight west of Chicago. In fact, if you took North Avenue straight west for two hours, you'd get here. It's 64. And this is where my dad's family is from. And so we stopped by a gravesite earlier, say hello to my dad and my dad's side of the family. And then we came on down here. It's kind of a nice area. We like to camp at Loudoun State Park. And uh, this was my first time. I didn't know this place existed. Yeah, that's amazing. And it's pretty beautiful. It's uh, from a prairie. I mean, it's it's a very high intensity prairie. It's a, sh a short walk, much like Hoopa. Hoopa. <laughs> Where it's a little too far to drive just for this hike. I did that to my coworker on yesterday, and I and I'm like, was that you that I do that with? <laughs> and he's like looking at me like. It's you, Dad, it's that me. I do it it's with. It's me that you do hoopa. hoopa. Oh, look, danger, wild bison. Yeah. That guy got thrown. All right, so now we know. There, there are. They're here. Definitely bison here. They exist. At least the sign says so. Oh, they're supposed to be here. Let's get up over this hill. My point is you wouldn't want to come here just for this hike. You'd want to come and get a bunch. Now luckily there's a lot of hikes here. You can go camping allowed. And you got uh, White Pines Campground, White Pines Hiking. I think Shabana, Shabana is around that's, here. That's uh, that's yeah. a little farther closer to Chicago. Um, but uh, Castle Pine, no, what did I say? Uh, Castle Rock, right? That's where you wanted to go after this? Yes. Uh, Loudoun State Park. Here. There's a, it's a great weekend. There's a lot of hikes that you can combine with a nice camping experience. And there's two campgrounds. Uh, we are combining with some hiking, camping, and golfing. Ryan, who does not golf, is golfing tomorrow. Yes. Do we need to have this as a business write-off for you? <laughs> it should be. It should be. And Dad says that because I work at a company called Golftini. And Golftini sells golf clubs. In fact, we just opened up a men's line. And I'll be wearing the Ryan while we golf tomorrow. Yeah. Shout out Golftini. I prefer collars and sleeves to no sleeves. What are you, what are you trying to say? So I think I just said it. <laughs> I noticed you got some new wardrobe. Yes. Just don't wear that on a plane or in public. Oh, I will. I will. The wife beater on a plane is not okay not, clothing. Not on a plane. I would not wear it on a plane. Uh, we came by here a year and a half ago. It was one of the first campsites. So we went to the Byron Nuclear plant just to drive by. That was when we had a lot of power plants in our horizon. Hey, check this out. What'd you find? These look like bean pods. They're little seed pods. Oh. Little snow peas. Yeah. Taste it. Yeah. Eat it. I've really come to appreciate the prairie style. I love kind of the small groups of repeating plants. You don't replant, it just 
these things just show up. The insect life was very. Oh, another different sign. Look at that. This Wild is actually bison. the third. We missed the first one. Okay. Uh, but the insect life is is very strong here. That would make my friend in Switzerland very happy. <laughs>